if I may say so, and I'm sure I'm going to spark a little bit of controversy here. Ah, good morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog. Finally back home. I mean, I say finally because I honestly am such a contradicting personality, even to myself. Like sometimes I just don't understand me. Does that happen to anybody else or is that just me? Please tell me I'm not alone out there. Like just to explain. So I love to travel. My ascendant in horoscope, in case you are interested and in case you love horoscope stuff, is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is known to be a traveler, adventure seeker, someone that like doesn't like to stay put for longer than a week. You know what I mean? And I could not be, that. that, that is just like definition of me. I love the adventure. I love to explore. I love people. I love socializing. I love all of that. Luckily, by the way, a little nota bene is that Filippo is also a Sagittarius in Ascendant. So perfect match, right? We both can travel together. We can like see the world. We have a lot of understanding for each other's freedom and space need because we both need freedom and space i'm someone that when kept like in hand or in cage like no 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 honey but at the same time all that travel and exploring and socializing exhausts me so i get like very 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 drained by a lot of it so now i'm just very happy to be at home but i know that if i would be at home for like two weeks i would be like what's next what's next come on let's do this it's just like really crazy because my mom's kind of like understood this in me when i was like a very young age i would say so and she's always like said like to people around me and my friends and you know when I like became an adult and I started dating when she would speak to like guys that were like very interested in me she'd always be like you know Tamara is the kind of person you cannot keep her you cannot grab her and keep her like caged or grounded she's not someone that I've never been the one that like needs to settle down or get married or wants to like buy a house with a man and like whatever it's very strange I've always always been the person that just wants to explore and have like an amazing adventure but with one person person that I know is like my person because obviously at the same time I'm this very deeply romantic person that believes in like a soulmate because I'm a Pisces at the same time which is the most romantic emotional sign of the zodiac can you please explain to me me thank you very much this was my three minutes TED talk of me not understanding myself but also at the same time being very happy about it yeah a lot of contradiction in three minutes I know for all of these deep thoughts coffee is not even strong enough you know what I mean but that being said I just feel very chatty as you guys can see today and I'm like yes I need to speak to my people to my family we need to discuss lots of things so I'm so happy that I will be at home for a little bit in fact I think like next few vlogs are going to be from Le Maison from home because that's it like my next trip is going to be back to Seoul with Gucci for the cruise show which you guys already know like next few trips that I have planned are going to be like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel yeah th there is a lot like there's a lot that is going to happen soon and you will see all of that but it's like just such an exciting period first of all it's spring i'm changing up my wardrobe you can't see it or maybe you can actually there it is there's a suitcase and i'm not packing to leave i'm just packing stuff because probably most of you know already that i do not like to keep too much of like especially accessories or jewelry or things like that around with me at home anymore so most of my jewelry i keep in like a bank and um also like a lot of my stuff i'm like kind of now sending to store so packing a suitcase of the bags and things that i'm like okay now i wore these a lot now i want to switch around and things like that and i want to empty a little bit the shelf so i can have less choices but more like concrete ones that i really enjoy and want to wear i'm kind of switching the wardrobe so i've taken out most of the boots in order to put my sandals maybe not sandals quite yet but for sure the ballerinas the plats sling bags chypre grandpa sandals but not the orans yet i think orans are more like june time i'll put them in you know what i mean it's like a bit too early let's not like i don't want to enjoy and over consume the spring summer pieces just yet before the actual spring summer hits you know what I mean? So what can you expect in this video? I have no idea because first things first, my mom just arrived last night and it was a very last minute decision. I was like, you know what? Filippo's in Miami. I am home alone which i love usually i love it so much my best friend was just here and then basically my best friend left on like let's say sunday night and my mom arrived monday morning so it was very much like that so what are we doing today today we are going to town we're going to probably monte napoleone to look at some stuff we have a lot of like exciting family events coming up in june my sister is having a big birthday 
I already got her a gift. In fact, guys, 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 I got her a gift in February, okay? And in June last year, I already decided what I was gonna buy her. Like, I mean, am I freaking great? Okay, like, obviously I cannot reveal what it is because my sister is like watching everything. So you guys will find out soon what it is. But anyway, we have my sister's 40th birthday. We have like some kind of very nice family events. I'll probably talk about them as soon as it comes to June. And also I just want to kind of like walk around with my mom. I want to find some cute clothes for Stefan and Victor, my nephews. Um, we want to find some like stuff we want to discuss what we're gonna wear and all of the amazing stuff like that like yesterday i had a massage with my mom which was very nice and just want to have some like mother daughter time if that makes any sense mm -hmm. what else will you see in this vlog so i wanted to talk about a very exciting topic of quite luxury i think it's quite interesting actually it's quite a burning topic at the moment out there so that's what we're gonna probably be doing in this video as well yeah like tidying organizing getting dressed and all the good stuff so let's get going okay so to Talking about wardrobe clear out, literally the stuff I'm like standing on all the time. I am, by the way, wearing, I love this stuff that I've been wearing. This is a Musée Paris. It's quite a good price and like for great pieces. I will link below if I can find it still available because I think it's like top notch. Anyway, so I'm trying to organize everything this week or actually weekend because, you know, during the weekend there's like no emails, no crazy stuff, like no one's kind of bothering you to do a million different things. So I'm trying to use this weekend in the presence of my mom to try organize as much as possible because let's face it like nobody can help you as much as mom can with those kind of jobs so that's what we're gonna do and first things first let's get dressed what should i wear today yeah i literally don't have much inspo should i go for like jeans something classic something that i've been wearing a lot lately are these totem jeans look at them so they're very like i think i've had them now for i remember from before we were actually in this apartment so it's been more than a year and they are skinny sort of like straight frayed at the bottom which means that they reveal the ankle which makes them perfect very flattering item for ballerina flats now you guys know i have like quite a few ballerinas let me show you my current setup okay so here you can see like obviously i've kind of started organizing a bit of this shelf now we have obviously i've like taken out all of my chiper sandals here as you can see then we have the mew mew ballerinas the white and the crystal ones that i love very much but not for today maybe i'll wear one of these chanel's either the black with the black cap or beige with black probably black because i actually been wearing beige ones lots on my travels oh the glittery glittery sparkly sling bags i love them so much i have obviously quite a collection of sling bags the flat flat flattest version because i love them very much my mom for example she has a bigger heel one she prefers the bigger heel we we're just talking about those but my mom is more like a sling back or like for example you know the dior sling back i'll insert the picture she would prefer those she but she finally enough said that she really loves these shoes as well that she would wear them as well so interesting those i also love but i feel like i'm not gonna wear them today because we're just gonna be walking going for shopping so i'll probably go for one of these these jeans probably a blazer and a nice top underneath because i do think it will get quite hot you see what i mean when i said there's a lot of stuff on the floor and a bit of a mess it's not too bad it's just like i have a lot of those cabinets at the top open because i'm kind of trying to switch some of the winter for summer i need to do that ass up but by doing that i need to go through every little single piece of clothing so i need to organize the blazers i need to organize the trousers i need to figure out the dresses like everything you know what i mean so there is just a lot to do and i will probably do it this evening because i want to get that done so yeah let's start organizing stuff let's start getting dressed and let's get going because i really am excited for a nice sunny day in milan and just like being back in a familiar place and back home feels really good okay guys i got dressed this is the look i actually filmed getting dressed with me for tiktok and i was filming another little tiktok about why i never wear a cliche on my birkins or kelly's i always keep them on the side like look i actually was like showing these are just some of the options and the reason why i never wear a cliche and the reason why i would maybe if i would make an exception for a bag it would be this bag so i've just filmed that for my tiktok if you want to go and watch it i think this is going to be my look for the day just because it's quite easy i'm going to bring the camera so i really hope that i'm going to have some good time with my mother but that also i am going to still vlog a little bit yay fun fact that you definitely do not need to know but I'm like, let me just share with you. Hold on, I need to grab my coffee. That are all my family members, including my dad, which is a male, clearly. I'm the fastest one to get ready, okay? Fastest one. Like, literally, I think the slowest one to get ready is my sister. I'm pretty sure. 
I don't know. She just like, well, to be fair, it doesn't count because she does have two children. So, and she's like so good at mothering. You know what I mean? She's so, so, so good at it. So, you know, by the time you get your kids dressed and all the like other stuff, and then you need to get yourself dressed and all that stuff. So um, I guess like she can kind of dress for us. I think it's like a dead race between my father and my mother who is slower at getting dressed, but I think it's a tough, 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 tough competition. But anyway, I'm always dressed first and it's just so annoying because then I'm like literally sitting dressed in my jacket, waiting for everybody else to come together. Filippo says it's very good for me to practice my, my patience. What do we think about that? I'm not sure, but I guess it's just, it is what it is. Now I'm actually making a plan of what Basically, this is like very, very tentative. I've already made this plan several times. I have these kind of like calendars that I draw out and they are for what I'm gonna vlog when. It's not really like, I don't know why I actually plan stuff when in reality, I just, things just happen and they change up. Like I'm again changing it up because I change things as they go. But the thing is that I actually want to like, for example, if I'm traveling to Korea, right? And I'm traveling from like, let's say, whatever, I'm making updates now from 1st to 5th. I want to see what's the nearest Wednesday or Sunday nearest to the 5th when I'm going to be publishing the Korea vlog, right? So it's very, very like, I like to be very fast with when my videos come out. So I like to plan that because that way it's not like, oh, Wednesday comes and I haven't prepared anything and you guys don't have a video. So I'm very structured in this because it's very important for me to always have a video for you guys no matter what so we have the first video upload will be fourth here and then we will have a video on 7th of june that's how far basically i plan like i try to plan a month ahead and that really helps me also stay organized in my head and never stress about this because why would i stress about something that i anyway love and enjoy doing so much you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'll do this now. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you is that I went to this Hermes masterclass, which was actually held by the artistic director for beauty, Gregoris, who is like so inspiring and so incredibly like zen and like, wow, the way he presented as the collection was incredible. So I received this product. I've already opened it, as you can tell. I mean, as always, it's packaged beautifully. They're designed by Pierre Hardy, who does all the packaging for Hermes, let me show it to you. Now this is Hermes Plein Air H Trio, okay? And this is what it looks like. Now, if you look at it inside, you will see that it has three different colors. So it has like the darkest one, the middle one, and the lightest one. And you can like blend all three to apply obviously all over your face, or you can sort of like use, for example, this on your eyelids also or for contouring with a more precise brush. But I thought this was really beautiful. It's much bigger than last summer ones that they did. Remember they did like the highlighter, etc. that were much, I think they were much smaller, but so pretty. I love the Hermes Beauty packaging, it's so gorgeous. Now let's get to work. Okay guys, we are in Max Mara because my mom is the ultimate Max Mara girl. I think this is like, um, actually what got me really, who got me really in love with Max Mara is my mom. I owe her also like probably, well actually everybody in my in my family loves fashion so it's not, that's not that new. But my mom, like she used to back back when I was a kid always like wear only Max Mara coats. She's very classic, she likes the kind of like classic colors and styles and shapes but like always good quality which is why Max Mara has always been her our chosen brand and now we're back we're shopping for mom i already got some stuff for my nephews which we haven't shown you but maybe i'll show you on the way back because i left it there and then we'll collect it after lunch I'm currently waiting while my mom is trying stuff on it so she's gonna do a little fashion show for me which is fun okay quickly we came back home and we unboxed some of the things that we got also for my nephews so cute but you guys will see this in one of the future vlogs so i don't want to actually spoil it now i'm loving when my house is full of flowers and now I got quite a few beautiful bouquets. Well, actually, this one I received from Filippo when I returned home from mm, Puglia, I believe, because right after Korea, I traveled to Puglia. And this one was for my best friend, but she left. She was here for a few days and then she left back home. So he bought her also a bouquet of flowers because it was her birthday. And for me, it says, welcome back home, baby. Enjoy. 
our beautiful space my love love you and the other bouquet i also got from my friend it's a very late <laughs> birthday bouquet but i was never actually at home and i love peonies they're actually my favorite flowers now i wanted to get into quite an interesting topic but before we do that i need to put this in a fridge so let's just bring that quickly my mom was like let's get some ice cream for home but ice cream i can always get um, somewhere i just wanted to have something for the afternoon coffee and there's simply nothing i think like marchese if you want to take away some sort of like afternoon snack i don't know like maybe my italian or milanese followers can correct me and tell me if there's something better but this is what i really love let me show it to you before i put it in back in the fridge the way they wrap it also is like pretty insane because they make sure that nothing really hits the ceiling well i guess that's not quite the case today but in general look at these tartalette with fruits and vanilla and i think they're just so simply gorgeous okay so this is what my mom and i are going to have later on with some coffee i love that though around the afternoon i like to have a little banana snack so i bought some bananas yesterday i, I do like banana peanut butter coconut uh, milk smoothie because i just love it Okay guys, I'm back here where basically I started this morning and I've almost drank my whole banana, almond, coconut, didn't put any peanut butter in it, it's already quite sweet because the banana, that banana that I used was very sweet. I kind of wanted to also like show you my makeup look of the day. I've got just a little bit of base. I got on my Hourglass palette, my Gucci foundation. I like comb through my eyebrows, have my Gucci mascara on and Patrick Ta palette. I will link all the products, the beauty products below as well, in case you guys want to see them. But what I really wanted to talk to you guys about right now is this whole kind of new craze of quiet luxury. Now, I've mentioned it a few times already. If you guys watched my deal, trip to Eden Rock I've kind of briefly mentioned it there and also I think I mentioned it another time I can't remember now but like oh my god how much has this whole like white luxury old money versus new money aesthetic how much has it taken internet the world of internet I want to say TikTok but it's not just that it's like YouTube it's everywhere like literally pretty much every single social media platform that I put on I'm like wow literally all the time thrown this kind of money talks wealth whispers philosophy in my face and uh, i've been like this is kind of like a quote that i have been using and saying with my friends for a long time whenever someone is bragging so you know i'm sure we've all been in this situation where like you meet someone and then this person is like oh wow i've just spent this amount of money on this and i bought this and i have that and i drive this car and that car and like uh, i've ordered like three of those watches like you know when people are very braggy this is when we would be like okay Okay, like you know when you just feel like uncomfortable it's not like your close friend but it's like someone in the group that is just trying to flaunt how affluent they are that would be the situation where we'd be like money talk with wealth whispers because if you really are doing so well you don't need to really prove yourself to anybody right and we all know those people who love to tell everybody how much they pay for something you know what i mean like it's just not my style at all unless someone like even when people ask me here like how much i pay for something i don't really like to talk about that because i feel like talking about money in a way that you're flaunting it is quite vulgar but we'll get into that a little bit later right now i want to discuss this like whole quiet luxury trend and what i think about it because i think it's quite important for me to verbalize my thoughts especially because i have been working on this platform where i am sort of like influencing you guys and i'm telling you like what i'm buying and what you should be buying and what i think is quite good and what i don't think is good and i personally am sick of this whole elitism side of quiet luxury so like look the quiet luxury aesthetic it's quite beautiful right it's very sophisticated it's elegant and and I do think it's really beautiful, right? So like if I'm thinking about the quiet luxury stuff that I worn recently, it'd probably be like the Saint Laurent dress in Maldives. It would probably be like, you know, the row things that I like to wear. I love certain brands that would be considered quiet luxury, such as Laura Piana, The Row, Brunello Cucinelli, The Old Celine, you know, Kate. Those are the brands that I love that I believe are quite, quite luxury. However, do I think that anybody should be telling you that you should be wearing quiet luxury because they're 
better than the other people than the people who are kind of like more flashy if i may call it that way absolutely not bottom line for everything like if you ask me is that everybody should be wearing whatever they want to wear okay if you want to wear like all over like chanel logo versace medusa pants and then you want to put like a freaking crown that says prada and i don't know like hermes bag that whatever you know what i mean like very recognizable thing and like red soles honey it's fashion it's fun like you should be able to do whatever you want to do and this whole like elitism classicism way of looking at people being like i'm so much better because i'm quite luxury you're loud luxury that's the side of it that i really really do not support and i do not like just like i don't know like three years ago pre-covid right four years ago we were all about logos like logo mania put logos we love the logo going back to like 90s or even like yeah 90s with like all the like versace saying here with i don't know like i'm trying to look around to see like you know remember the big like valenciaga across the back remember the like Miu Miu band the Prada logo here you know everybody loved it nobody complained about it yeah some people like my boyfriend Filippo was like I don't want to wear logo I'd never wear logo he's the kind of person that's never worn logo because he doesn't like to wear it but it's nothing to do with classicism he wouldn't say like oh i'm better because i don't wear it because i'm so quiet luxury but you are not and i think that's the bad aspect of it where people treat this whole like new quiet luxury trend to say i'm better than you because i belong in an elite class of like old money especially because most of these people that are trying to be or trying to look like old money actually are not that and that's the hypocrisy hypocrisy that I cannot stand. So in this kind of whole trend of like, oh, I used to look like this, but now I look like this. It's all of these people that are actually not quite luxury at all by default, but they're trying to fit in, in these sort of like country club type of environments. Those are the people that are trying to fit in, trying to usually, if I may say so, and I'm sure I'm going to spark a little bit of controversy here. It's the people that are like trying to get married rich. So they're like, I'm so chic, like, and that's that's the direction I want to go but if I wear a lot of logo I'll be like attracting the wrong kind of crowd and I'm like wait a second why is it so linked to elitism and classicism that is the side of the quiet luxury that I do not like okay now I think like in the past six months perhaps I've been saying like oh I'm trying to get away a little bit from logo like I mean I've said it so many times throughout the vlogs you guys can vouch for that if you watch my videos I've been trying to say like listen I'm trying to wear less logo less logo less logo not because I want to be quite luxury but because I got like tired of it okay like how many freaking pants with like CCCCC all over it can I buy right how many big logo sweatshirts can I buy as well? How many, I don't know, like Loewe, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Saint Laurent, I'm thinking Celine, right? I've done it. I bought like several, then I wear them once, twice, three times, but that's about it. Like I can't, like, you know, I have this like huge YSL tote with, with like big logo. I love it. And that's another thing. So last May, exactly one year ago, I bought the iCare YSL tote, right? Love that bag. It's up there. So I'm telling you how much I love this bag, how much I think you should buy it because I think it's great and I think it would be very hypocritical of me if now one year later I came here and say like listen guys logos are over whereas you went and spent like 4,000 euros on the bag that is very expensive precious and you it really like sparked the joy for you to buy it and now I'm supposed to say like no that's a no now you know I think like there's a lot of pieces that I I could film a video right I used to film those video a lot back in the day even though they used to spark a lot of controversy and I would say I would show you the items that I think are over and out and are done right people would get very mad about it like like for example it would often include a like a Belmont six button blazer or back in the day even though they're kind of coming back now ish the Valentino rock studs you know when like when they were like overhyped and then they were done it would include you know like I don't know back in the day like Isabel Moran like wedge sneakers as much as they were like so cool and at one point it was kind of done I used to film those videos because not because I was like better that I don't wear those things but because I was kind of sick of them like you know when you wear something for like two three years 
is over and over and over and over again and then you see it everywhere and then you kind of like literally sometimes you buy a classic piece and you don't wear it every single day right so you never really get sick of it you can wear it for many years but when you buy like a strong trendy piece you wear it like all the time until you get so sick of it and then you're like Ugh, i cannot even look at this piece anymore and nobody can tell me that they're not guilty of the same thing right because fashion i used to film those videos i don't really film them anymore because i feel like it's a little bit unfair to people who perhaps like they really want a piece but they can't afford it and then eventually they save up money for it when that piece has been around for like already a year and a half or two years right then you buy the piece and then everybody's like sick of it and you're like well wait a second i haven't really i'm not done enjoying it you know so i think it's quite hypocritical of those like tiktokers filming like oh my god it's all about a quiet luxury now and throw away all of your logo things where maybe you're still paying off the credit card for that like item that you were like wait a second didn't you say last year that this is the piece i do not support that i do not agree that people should be telling you like old money is better than new money you know what's better having money is better than not having money so it doesn't matter if it's old or new they both have money and actually like most of those people preaching old money are not actually old money because i've never seen or met anybody who's coming from old money that's so concerned about whether or not they look like old money or new money the one thing that i do not like aesthetically about the whole like loud luxury aesthetic it's when it's vulgar and i mean i would probably love to insert some pictures of vulgar loud luxury aesthetic but i would get sued <laughs> it's just like think about this okay think about how do i stay decent and a good person that i truly am without actually calling anybody out now think about like a lot of nudity a lot of vulgar stuff like i don't know uh, kind of chanel logo just covering nipples and the breasts are like humongous think about just like something that does not you wouldn't be let in a members club because it's just like too out there or you wouldn't go to school and to pick up your kid because you're like oh my god this is unacceptable right so i think that like when it's very 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 vulgar the whole like sort of loud luxury you know because it's like so much nudity plus the logos plus very tight skin getting into the orifices that is a mega no for me because i just think that usually if you wear that kind of stuff you're usually asking for kind of like some sort of like you're, you're kind of giving a statement right you don't just wear it because you're like oh i really like this this is fashion you are giving a statement and that's kind of the type of loud luxury that i do not enjoy or i do not like because i just think it's very controversial i don't think it's giving a good example to children that have access to social media platforms especially tiktok i don't think that that type of vulgar dressing that type of vulgar dressing actually is always 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 accompanied by very vulgar behavior not good value system and it's not the kind of example that i want to offer i am a little bit stepping away from i'll insert some of my old looks that were like louder than the looks that i would wear now like certain looks that i wouldn't wear now you know like there's certain even brands that i feel like i've stepped away from a little bit they're brands that i used to go to the shows and i don't really go anymore to their shows because i'm like you know what i'm not really sure that this is the type of style that i'm even communicating anymore so if i'm actually going to their shows i'm kind of sending a wrong message to you guys and like if you are spending your money there and i'm really not it's a little bit unfair so i think like as much as i'm kind of you know like some Sometimes you go away from something but you go into something else and this is like a normal cycle of fashion but nobody should ever tell you what you should wear and like it's over this is so disgusting and that kind of behavior i just never ever ever support in any industry like for example even with my friends the things that i don't enjoy like you know i don't like for example this is like completely completely personal what i'm gonna tell you i don't like red nails on me okay don't like it it makes my hand look old love red nails on my best friend okay will i ever ever wear red nails on me maybe i used to wear them i don't like them like when i was 20 maybe like i don't know 15 years ago haven't worn red nails probably for like seven years okay and i do not like them on me love them on other people would i judge someone for like going around with red nails of course not would i judge someone for being like wearing certain things that i don't like of course not and people who do that just show me the type of judgmental personality that they have and it's not something i support that is what i'm trying to say i don't think this clothes should define anybody i i agree that personal style and personal aesthetic is part of like your personality it is part of my personality as well and sometimes i look at my old outfits and i'm like what was i thinking here but i'm like you know what for that time of my life it was so suitable and it was perfect and we go through phases we experiment we have fun and 
it's just all it is. It's just a bit of fun. We're not saving any lives, right? So it shouldn't be taken so seriously. But one thing that I, like I said, like throughout this video, I'm not supporting and I, you will never hear me support is the kind of like classicism, elitism type of behavior. We all know about the old kind of like Carlin Bassett style, you know, that kind of like old money aesthetic, like Kennedy lifestyle, right? It happened before. Then there was like a logomania. Then we went into minimalism, right? Like golden Phoebe Philo era. Then we went back to logos and now we're going back to minimalism. I mean, like, why does this even need to be talked about? This has been around like forever. Am I gonna like throw away my Cartier bracelet? Of course not. Am I gonna wear like seven of these? Also not. But you know, I think like that is what I want and what I like. And I don't really care what is a trend because I feel like also you should always have confidence that backs up your choices and things that you buy. But somehow I just don't like, I also don't enjoy like seeing this kind of preaching online that is like, you should be an elegant lady, you should behave like this, you should do that. Whereas I, usually people who preach these things and are trying to convince you to be a certain way haven't been like that in the past. So it's like, you know what I'm trying to say is that all of these like old money aesthetic preachers are the people that have never actually been old money before. So what matters, the bottom line is, old money or new money, it's still the money. People should focus on working to get the money and not to faking it to look a certain way. And I also think that like people should stop being judgmental in the time, especially we just came out of pandemic, people didn't have great time. I'm not gonna go into details of everything that happened because this video will be like, but we need a bit more positivity between people. We need a bit more support. We need a bit more like love and less judgmental like behavior. What, you know, do you know how many times and I speak about this to Filippo a lot because Filippo loves the classic style. You know, you guys know I wear my like Chanel logo pants and he's like, oh my God, but I'm like, enjoy it, honey. I love it. That's it, bottom of the story. But like sometimes we discuss how there are some people that just dress like without much taste but they're the nicest people in the world and we love them and who cares about like the way they dress and then when you know how nice and how beautiful their personality is that even their style is kind of like makes sense everything together is like a perfectly packaged thing and even if they put like a lot of everything and it's a bit like what people would label as mask or like clowny behavior which i, I hate to use those kind of words those people just like, it suits them you know they're like the sweetest so who are we to judge and i would never judge actually people for the way they dress so like i said the only thing that i really do not condone is vulgarity but that does not only apply to clothing that is like a lifestyle and it's a behavior when someone is just quite um vulgar it's a personality it's not just the way they dress that's my two cents on this topic i'm very very interested to hear what you guys think about this topic because i think it's quite interesting anyway now i hope you're gonna continue buying whatever you want whatever makes you happy and not what i or anybody else tells you so enjoy i'm gonna go see what my mom is up to and i'm gonna start tackling a little bit of space because i think my assistant is coming in 18 minutes guys i realized that there's something quite important that i wanted to tell you on this topic but i actually didn't manage to you know it's like hard to put all the words and like all the thoughts into this because sometimes like you have so many thoughts that then you forget to say something so what i wanted to say is that actually one of the reasons why i feel like people are also like now acting a little bit i'm so old money and like are going towards this quite luxury aesthetic is the whole crazy crazy boom of unauthentic goods the amount of spam comments for example that i receive on youtube that are related obviously they all go straight to spam like youtube is so smart when it comes to comments like if i open my section i've spoken about this before if i open a section that is for sort of like spam comments it's just like basically hate comments go there and also like these kind of comments that are promoting fake giveaways or spammy things or fake goods always go there so they don't actually even like you might type in a comment that will say oh you're so ugly and that comment will automatically go into the spam so it won't even show on the account and unless i go and check spam i wouldn't even see it so if you're thinking like someone's like relentlessly deleting your negative very negative comments which are not constructive youtube knows they, like youtube has like a filter for words and basically automatically places those kind of like negative things in in there and it's the same for like all those people advertising the like offerings of the kind of unauthentic goods i think also like a reason why you know like there was this whole crazy crazy like hermes fake boom 
I believe. And at one point I was like, you know what? I'm so happy that I always like unbox or like I show that I shop from the shop because people were like even calling out people who wear real goods. They were calling them out saying like, is your thing real? Post your receipt. And I think that's just like creating such an unhealthy space and place. So at the same time, I wouldn't even blame people who are actually saying like, you know what? I don't even want to buy it if people are just going to be like, it's fake. But then we all smart girls and guys, we know when something is authentic and when something is not authentic it's just like so clear and obvious but for me personally i think the whole robbery or the reselling market is what really puts me away from certain things like i would never now after like being robbed i i never say never right my mom always says that but after my robbery i'd never really go and shop in like second like at the resellers because i feel like they're kind of like supporting like you know the crazy like price surges like i don't know like a bag that costs six thousand euro costs twenty six thousand euro there and i feel like it's creating this unhealthy environment that is now not only supporting robberies but also supporting like the fake market which is then supporting other unethical businesses that I don't even want to talk about in this video but it's also like supporting the whole kind of like fake goods market so yeah and then it's supporting the classicism with the whole like quiet luxury thing so I don't know what to tell you it's just like a bit of a crazy crazy cycle in which I think it's very important to always stay grounded to like what you like and to kind of not judge anybody for whatever because people do have their reasons I just do not support any kind of like scamming and judging and whatever yeah that's it i actually by the way guys got like a new mono earring it's over here i don't know if you can see it see it i will try and link it below if i can find it online it's by sophie billebrach i'm having such a crazy jewelry face so i have two pairs of designer jewelry earrings coming in ones i pre-ordered in january yes pre-ordered them in january they're just arriving this week now the others are coming i've ordered them in london they're coming next week and then the third well the third i have like a my jewelry wish list is now brimming and also my watch wish list i want to get another ap i have so many admar piguet watches on my wish list guys it's like unhealthy i think it's not so easy we all know it's not like you can just walk in the store waltz in and be like hi i'd like to get a like a royal oak when we all know that those are like with crazy waiting lists so i really do want one but eek, i would really really love one but besides that i also have it's soon going to be filippo and mine anniversary and i've been kind of hinting what i want Hint, 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 hint. Because you know what, girls and guys, you should never leave it to your partner fully. Like, sure, actually, to Filippo, I can pretty much leave it. Even when he surprises me, he always gets the best stuff. But I do like to be very clear with what I want. It is what it is. So, yeah, I know what I'm getting him, actually, for the anniversary. I'm not going to say it now because obviously he's going to watch it. But I, it's also going to be actually a piece of jewelry. But I also, I know what I want. So let's just, I'll show it to you as soon as we get those things organized and done so <sighs> what a beautiful beautiful like day sunny you know it's just like so bright and light and i love when it's springtime of my favorite season anyway let's continue i need to go and continue with my wardrobe clear out i've just put all of my thoughts on here guys yesterday i bought a ton of bath bombs in lush and honestly i haven't done this in quite a while lush used to be one of those where i used to shop quite a bit at the beginning of my vlogging days and let me tell you this i used to like get those like, famous bath bombs and you know like the flavors for christmas not flavors the scents for christmas don't eat it don't eat it please the scents for christmas or for whatever like spring summertime etc and there's one that i really like that i bought called apple crumble and then the other one called rose jam love them both very much i just had a coffee by the way and some cake with my mom and we're like chit-chatting about my or our better to say next big project because i have like a one very big project on my mind so we kind of were like discussing it what i want to do and how i want to do it and yeah basically i now want to chill out without any social media every now and then i do this i basically would go into a bath no instagram no tiktok nothing allowed don't want to look don't want to read news don't want to look at anything i need to give my brain a dose of itself you know just 
time to breathe basically so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna try and find okay this is the rose argan love it but not now scrubby love it milky bar next time apple crumble i think we're gonna do the rose gem it looks like this it's basically rosy and i'm gonna wait two more seconds and then i'm gonna put it in the bar Up. obviously I can only film my head for obvious reasons but I've actually applied a layer of Biologic Recherche Mask Vivant which is sort of like an anti-blemish decongestant type of mask just because I've had like so many travels etc but tonight when I go to bed I will do a layer of first of all I will do like a red light therapy and then I will do a um, hydration mask just because I feel like my skin's a little bit tired from everything that's been going on like my hair's doing pretty well though I do need a haircut desperately but I just can't I don't really have someone in Milan that's cutting my hair at the moment so I kind of need to figure those things out yeah otherwise yeah I haven't been to Paris also in a long time so I have someone that cuts my hair in Paris I have someone that cuts my hair in Belgrade I just don't have someone that cuts my hair in Milan at the moment and I need to figure that out I guess but yeah it's so in incredibly interesting because I've been having this conversation I know it's still going on about quiet luxury with my friends and we're talking about it like because they're all like kind of loving the aesthetic and like I said in this video at the beginning I really do like the aesthetic it's not like I look at it and I'm like oh I don't like it I love the aesthetic what I don't love about quiet luxury is the fact that I don't know um you have these people like kind of putting it in like a negative connotation like they're better than the others because they are all about quiet luxury that's what I don't like I don't like anything that fashion makes like oh I'm skinny I'm better than you oh i'm pretty i'm better than you oh i'm wearing designer i'm better than you i don't like any of those aspects when it comes to fashion and that's something that i'm really trying so hard to fight on my channels but would you like to see a quiet luxury video where i show all the like quiet luxury fashion or like quiet luxury outfits for like summer i'm happy to do it like i can totally do that but not in like negative context of it just in the aesthetic context of it if that makes any sense so yeah i should because my friends are saying like please 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 can you film um, a video? One of my friends just told me that basically one of the hats I wore in like January last year apparently was shown on an episode of Succession or someone's constantly wearing it in Succession. I don't know. I have only just started watching Succession. I just know about the obviously the capacious bag. But um, someone's told me like, oh my god, like this is your hat. Like, can you do these kind of like quiet luxury outfits? And I was saying like, sure I can, but I just want to state the obvious that as much as like I can and make like a whole video with like quite luxury outfits i don't want it to seem like i'm promoting the negative attitude that comes with that because that's literally the last thing i want to do as my mission in fashion if that makes sense a lot of words on this topic i have I could talk about it the whole day, I guess. We are actually after the bath. My mom's making tea for us. And we are watching Rough Diamond on Netflix currently, as you guys can see. Made a little bit of atmosphere. There's like a candle burning, which is why it's like light. But normally this is like pitch black so it's, it's quite nice and i love that like since we don't really have a couch here right i basically can just like turn around our furniture and we can watch it so currently starting the first episode and it seems quite good guys it's a new day i woke up my mom and i we had a massage we had a breakfast and we watched one more episode of the series that we started watching yesterday called rough diamond i really recommend it if you guys want to watch it i think we're in episode three or four and it's really cool interesting it's like a sort of a thrillery but cultural i love learning about like different cultures religions communities especially like religious communities is like a huge huge interest of mine so if you have any similar things for me to watch send my way please i texted Filippo like he's asleep because he's in Miami at Formula One. I texted him like, for the flight back, download this, it's really good. So that's it. I actually wanted to finish this vlog. I feel like I've talked a lot. I hope I wasn't repetitive because I know that sometimes when I talk, I can be quite like blah de blah you know? Anyway, um, that's it. Now what I'm gonna do is on this Sunday that you're watching this, I'm gonna finish clearing out my wardrobe. I'm gonna organize my bags. I'm gonna take them all out. We're gonna clean the shelves, organize them, tidy them, etc. Put them in different like, um, what you call it? Like different groups, like clutches, 
bigger bags, etc. And then in the next video, you will probably see how we've managed to do that. I hope so. That is pretty much it. I'll have a lot of stuff to show you. Like I've told you, uh, next video is going to be... Well, I'm cleaning out the wardrobe, guys. You know, I never clear out my wardrobe for no reason. I have a lot of stuff to unbox from here to try on and stuff. So I think I will do that with you guys because you guys always like that. But until then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.